Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly reconcile the general currency conversion transactions that come from your PayPal account into your zero bank feed. In this example, I convert some US dollars to Australian dollars, but the principle is the same for any currency conversions that you'd like to do. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Zero, then please check out the links to the courses in the description below. Okay, so before we get into the lesson, I'd just like to point out that I already have a PayPal account connected to Zero, and that the transactions have come through from PayPal through an automatic feed into Zero. So I'm not going to show you how to set these things up in this lesson because I do have a separate video um, on how to do those things. And also in this lesson, I'm using a live zero file. So some of the information I need to mask out for security purposes. Okay, so now I just want to talk about the setup here. I do have three separate bank accounts in PayPal. And that means that I've got one for each currency. So I've got three currencies. I've got Australian dollars, Great British pounds and US dollars in PayPal, which means effectively I have three different bank accounts within PayPal. So what you need to do is you need to set zero up in an identical manner. So zero actually needs three separate bank accounts, one for each currency, and each currency needs its own bank account in zero. So a bank account in zero can only accept one currency. So if you accept say four or five currencies in your PayPal account, then you need to set up four or five uh, bank accounts in zero, one for each currency. So I'll just quickly show you what I mean. So over here in my PayPal account, my business account, you can see I've got Australian dollars, great British pounds and US dollars. So I've effectively got three different buckets of money in there or three different bank accounts. So over here in zero, I've got PayPal Australian dollars, PayPal US dollars and PayPal great British pounds. So in order to get this right, you've just got to make sure that you set up a separate bank account for PayPal for each currency in zero, just like you've got in PayPal. Okay, so let's talk about the transaction that we're going to reconcile now. And what I've got is I've converted $14.20 of US dollars in my PayPal account into Australian dollars, and it's come out at $19.17 Australian. So they will show up as a general currency conversion in PayPal and zero. And what we need to do is reconcile the transactions as a transfer in zero. So we don't put it in as income or expenses or spend money or receive money or anything else. It has to be as a transfer. But we do need to help zero match the transactions because they are of different amounts. So one of them's $14.20 and the other one's $19.17, which means that zero's automatic matching won't work. Okay, so before we jump back into zero and do the reconciliation, I just wanted to show you one more thing. So this is a download of some PayPal transactions and I've just hidden a lot of the columns because they're not relevant anyway. But I just wanted to show you these two rows here on the 11th of January. You can see it's got general currency conversion for both lines there. And you've got the US dollar amount for $14.20 and we're converting that into Australian dollars which is $19.17. And here you can clearly see that that's a minus. So that's coming out of the US dollar bank account, if you want to call it that in PayPal, and going into the Australian dollar bank account in PayPal, $19.17 worth. And then there you've got a debit and a credit there to show you the balance impact as well. So you can clearly see that that's a withdrawal technically from the US dollars and a deposit into Australian dollars, and that's why it's a transfer. So it's not income or expenses or anything like that. All right, so let's go over to zero now. And over here, we've got our Australian dollar PayPal account, and we've got our US dollar PayPal account, and we've got one transaction to reconcile in each. So I'll just duplicate the screen first, and that way we can bring up both transactions. So I'll bring up the um, US dollar one I'll bring up the Australian dollar one over here because that's the one that it's going to. Okay, so you can see there, there's a receive money transaction there or there's money received um, in that column and it's the general currency conversion. And then if we go back over here 
and we bring up the US dollar one, you can see there that we've got 1420 coming out of the account, general currency conversion there. And that corresponds to the PayPal download that we saw before where that was coming out of this bank account and into the other one. Okay, so the way that you can reconcile this is pretty simple. So if they were the same amount, if it was 1420 and 1420 on the other side, zero would probably match that itself automatically. And then you could just click on the okay button to reconcile it. But because they're different amounts, um, it doesn't um, work. It doesn't actually find both transactions and match them together. So what you do is you can just go to one side of the transaction. You can go to this one, you can go to the other one, it doesn't matter. And you just need to type in the other amount and it will match it for you. And you do that via a transfer. So just click on the transfer tab and then you need to select the bank account. So I'm in the US dollars PayPal account that I've got here. So I need to select the Australian dollars PayPal account. If I was doing it the other way around, clicking on transfer here, then I would go and find the US dollar bank account. But I'm doing it this way. So we'll come over here and we'll go and find Australian dollar PayPal. And then it brings up this little screen down here where it asks for the amount in Australian dollars. And as we know, the amount is 1917. So we can just type that in like so. And then it just gives us a little bit of the exchange rate down there. And you can also click on here and you can put in um, any relevant bank fees if you like. So if you wanted to code some bank fees to a bank fee account, um, you can do that here. Say they charged you a dollar as a bank fee or something, you can put that in there. I don't have anything to put in there um, for the PayPal transfer, but if you're doing it through something else, like maybe TransferWise or, or something else, you might actually have fees that you can put in there. So this is fine to just reconcile. So we've got the 1420 reconciling to the 1917. So I can just click on reconcile. I just need to delete that first. Okay, so we've reconciled this side of it. Now, if we go back to the Australian dollar, account and we just click on reconcile here just to reload the page. You can see now that it's actually matched this transaction to the $14.20 that we've put in because we told it the other side of it is 1917 in this bank account. So we can just click on okay and it's done. We can go back to our bank account screen and we can see there that we've got no more transactions to reconcile in our Australian dollar or US dollar PayPal accounts. So that job is all done. So that's how you can reconcile your general currency conversion transactions that happen in PayPal in your zero accounts.